Hi, this is Meditation. I'm Rebecca, and I welcome you this morning, or I guess it's noon now, so this nearly afternoon on the last day of April, amazingly enough. So sometimes it's hard to find a way, <coughs> still coughing, sometimes it's hard to find a way in to meditation. When you're beginning a meditation practice, and even when you're a seasoned practitioner, it can be challenging to drop everything and go inside. Sometimes we need to find a door, a way in to slowing the breath, calming the mind, and stilling the body. Sound creates vibrations in the body that can harmonize our systems, like giving us focus and soothing, like mothers singing their babies to sleep, listening to music, moving to music, singing, chanting, humming, all can positively affect the vagus nerve and activate our parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest system. Some of you may know that I co-lead a morning meditation and chanting uh, practice most weekday mornings. It's about a 15 minute practice and the we do use chant and it's quite lovely. In a moment, I'll take us into a breath focused meditation, but I'd like to teach you a pranayama or breath exercise that I love for creating focus, turning inward and removing external distraction. And it's soothing to boot. It's called humming bee breath or brummery breath. Brummery is the Hindu goddess of bees. So this breath is meant to emulate the humming buzz of the fluttering of bees' wings. I use this breath often at times of stress. I've used it during a procedure like an MRI and even on an airplane. It can be loud and vibrant or subtle, disappearing into the general hum of the world around us. We begin with the sound of OM, which is the sound of the universe, made with a closed mouth. So it sounds like mm. This stimulates our crown chakra, our connection to the universe, to something greater than ourselves. In a moment, I'll instruct you on this breath and then I'll lead us into a meditation and we'll employ it. Um, as we go, you'll find a pitch that resonates with you. It can be really quiet so no one else can hear it, or loud and demanding, taking up space. It can be low or high pitched. Let's just try it now. So you'll inhale through your nose, close your mouth, your lips, and make a humming sound. And it doesn't matter what it sounds like. This is just for you. And I find, I've said I've, that I've done this on a plane. I can find a tone that disappears into the hum around us and just very quietly. No one knows it's happening. Or you can make a sound that is loud and demanding or high pitched. I'll give you an example. Now that's going to raise energy. It's going to create a different uh, kind of experience in the body. So you can use this breath in different times for different purposes. Let's sit and meditate for a few minutes, finding our breath, and then I'll introduce Brummery breath. So take a moment to feel your feet on the ground your bottom in your seat, your hands resting wherever they are resting. And take a moment to notice your surroundings, your sensory environment. What is the temperature in your room? Can you feel air moving?
And what are the sounds that you hear beyond the sound of my loud hum? Can you discern the sounds that are close by and ones that are further away? And then begin to bring your attention more deeply inward to your own breath. Start by sensing the breath. Where do you feel it? Maybe it's at the tip of your nose or your upper lip, or maybe it's in the back of your throat or all the way down in your belly. As you turn inward to the breath, allow your eyes to close or take a soft gaze. Find that sensation of the breath and stay with it through several inhales and exhales, allowing the focus, noticing when thoughts appear and coming back to that sensation of breath. Connecting with your breath, sitting up taller, letting the breath help you to expand, lengthening your spine, reaching your crown towards the sky. With every exhale, release and drop more deeply into the ground beneath you. In a moment, I'm going to introduce that breath that we learned at the beginning of our session. Um, it's bee humming breath, humming bee breath. And it's really just a hum. So in a moment, I'll invite you to inhale and then exhale with that humming sound and allow your exhale to finish through the hum. Then you'll take a, an inhale as soon as you end your exhale and hum again. So you may not be humming at the same moment that I am. So hum at your own pace with your own tone, quiet, loud, high or low. We'll begin. Continue for several repetitions. And after you complete your next hum, release from breath 
and come back into your natural breath. Taking a moment to notice any effects that you feel from this breathing practice. And when you're ready, coming back into the room, blinking your eyes open. <coughs> Pardon me. I read something really beautiful this morning from meditation teacher Susan Salek. She writes, every day we are faced with loss on many levels. So, so society, Society tells us to go, do, distract, numb out, and look the other way. Anything but be with the loss. Slowing down creates space to allow the grief to move, shift, and open. With all of the loss in the world and in our lives, we are touching into the loved ones we miss and the longing for being together again. Grief is a teacher we carry with us, reminding us to love, to show up and embrace the life that is right here. It invites us to be alive in the wholeness, holding it tenderly. And in that tenderness, we can find gratitude. Gratitude is the warmth that radiates from the inside out, the appreciation that connects us, and is given unconditionally. As we open to the wholeness of life, we see that grief and gratitude are intertwined. Each is a separate strand weaving through our lives and each is connected to creating the whole beauty of our unique existence. May we hold grief tenderly and allow it to affirm our passion for life and love. May we radiate gratitude to warm and light all beings and our world. So we'll move into a longer meditation with a mantra. A mantra is just the repeating of a word or a sound. I'd like to introduce the Sanskrit words, so hum, spelled S-O and then H-A-M or H-U-M. And it translates to, I am that, I am this, I am here, I am present. So in a moment, I'll lead us into our meditation and then instruct you to just think the words, you don't have to say them out loud. So on your inhale, you'll hear, imagine the word so. And as you exhale, you will hear in your head or imagine the word hum. And this can be very grounding and focusing. So find your meditation seat. You can also lie down if you like that uh, as a more comfortable position for a longer meditation. <clears throat> Sometimes it's harder to stay present when you're lying down, but you make that decision. And make sure that you feel really well supported because we will stay for a few minutes. Sitting up tall or lengthening your spine allowing your eyes to close or taking a soft gaze. Allow your breath to move smoothly through the center of the body as you inhale, feel the length of your spine growing longer or taller. As you exhale, settling, dropping more deeply in to the earth beneath you breathing between earth and sky. Feeling that connection from the crown of the head up. And then from the crown of the head down into the earth, 
softening through your face and jaw, your neck and shoulders. Allow your arms to be heavy, palms open, up or down. Allow your breathing to move freely from the tip of your nose, past your throat, heart center, all the way down into the softness of your belly. Softening there to receive the fullness of the breath. Releasing through hips and thighs. Let your legs be heavy and connected to the ground. Soften through your feet and toes. We'll begin the mantra of so hum, I am that. As you inhale, hear the word so. As you exhale, the word hum. Simply inhale so. I exhale, hum, am. As thoughts and emotions arise, greet them lovingly and let them float away, coming back to so hum. We'll move into a period of silent meditation.
begin to deepen your breath, bringing small movements into fingers and toes. Allow the breath to expand, bringing you back into the room, into your body, into this precious moment. When you're ready, bring palms together in front of you and begin to slowly rub. Let the rubbing get a little faster and faster until your hands are nice and warm and then cup them over your eyes. And when the heat dissipates, gently blink your eyes open and release your hands down. We'll seal our practice with one chant of Om. If you'd like to join, bringing palms together, feel that point of connection just as this sound of Om will connect us. Inhaling. Oh, oh, Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me and with each other.